really is the story on residential roads all across western Washington this morning. You want to take it nice and slow and easy as you head out in your car. Let's check in with Grace Lim in downtown Seattle in the uh, Maple Leaf area, just adjacent downtown, just north of the city, with uh, what the conditions look like there. Grace? Yeah, Bill, in around the neighborhood areas as you're heading out, it may be a tough go of it if you're trying to get out of your driveway or things like that. We're still seeing uh, that wet snow and the icy conditions on the roads, but on main roads, like this road right here, Roosevelt Way Northeast, we're seeing clear conditions out there, just uh, wet conditions on the roads, but it is bare from all the wet snow and the slushy conditions. But one of the biggest threats in and around the Seattle area for drivers this morning is the fog. Look at that. Reduced visibility. I'm going to say visibility is down to maybe a, a quarter of a mile on this road here. So that can make for dangerous conditions because it could be very difficult to see what's ahead of you. Are you going to see wet road conditions? Are you going to see that slush on the roads? Are you going to see, you know, uh, that wet snow on the roads? Is there rain? ahead of you as well. So that's just making way for dangerous conditions. Again, with that rain and temperatures above freezing, we're now seeing that snow that over the weekend, it was that compact snow. Now that's all turned into slush. And yeah, we're seeing some cars like you can see behind me. I know the visibility is a little reduced, but yeah, cars have been, you know, stuck in the snow this morning. So if you don't have a shovel or uh, earlier today, I used an ice scraper to kind of get the snow out of the way, you could pretty much just kick it off with your feet. So yeah, that's that's the good news with the consistency of this. But again, the consistency of that slush making it very dangerous on the roads as well. I want to add also the impeccable timing of this snow event. We saw the most, the heaviest accumulation happening during the overnight hours and into the weekend. While most of us were asleep, it's the weekend. No one had to be out and about going to work. And I know today it's a Monday morning, but again, with this timing, it's a holiday. It's President's Day, so we haven't been seeing a lot of activity on the roads. In fact, the Metro buses, they've been coming by. They've been completely empty. So what a time to be staying at home. And even if you do have to work, work from home. Okay, back to you. All right, Grace, thank you. Some coronavirus